What's up everybody? Today we're talking about the limited edition atmosphere word sauce from Hob. Limited edition atmosphere word sauce from Hob. Yep, back at it. Another Hob sauce. Yep. Haven't found a Hob sauce we didn't like so far. Yep. And we're both big atmosphere fans. Correct. So yeah, yeah. Works out. Um, normally, we are great with some amazing artwork from Hob sauce by Angel Van Overeem. But this time, we just got the album cover for Atmosphere's latest album. Yep. So, pretty kind of cool change of pace there. Um, but yeah, always doing cool collaboration, hip hop artist, limited edition sauces. Yeah, about the, well, he's done two Aesop. Aesop rock ones. Rock ones. We, did, we didn't catch the, the first second, one. Yeah, yeah, I got the second one, but not the first one. Yeah. And then when this popped on, I was like, all right, I better jump on that pretty quick. Yeah. So, um, guys, ingredient list on this one, red bell peppers, habaneros, red onion, celery, carrots, garlic, lemon and grapefruit juice, vinegar, sea salt, honey crisp apples, EVOO, and whoa, what is that? Togarashi. Togarashi red pepper. Togarashi, which is a, <clears throat> people call it T.O. spice. Okay. Um, it's a Japanese seven spice generally, but you know it because most most sushi restaurants that make a dynamite sauce, yeah, Togarashi's in a lot of gotcha. dynamite sauces, okay. including no coasts. Nice. So, so yeah, it's a that's a good. Ooh, I, well now I'm excited. There's those are all things that I like. So <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, shall we just get into it? Let's do this. All right. I'm excited. I can't yeah. lie. I had one little spoonful of this like maybe. Uh, three weeks ago all right and it was really tasty but i don't so you know where we're getting into here i kind of know all right but i was slightly intoxicated too when i tried it so the, the <laughs> good thing is, is i don't really remember it and i'm gonna get to appreciate it more now i'm very intrigued by this uh lemon and grapefruit juice the grapefruit juice grapefruit you do not oh. see in hot sauce very often. And I like grapefruit. There's so. one that I don't think we ever reviewed. God, what was that one called? I, I, I remember seeing grapefruit then. There was a yeah. bottle that I had that was on like a very early season of Hot Ones. I cannot mm. remember what it's called now, but but I liked it because it was just so different. <laughs> Apples too, though. You know, yeah. Apples, honey crisp apples in a hot sauce like that's a different. Yeah, that's a different one. I'm, I'm game. Let's. Oh, I love yeah. the smell. It's good. All right. Cheers. Mm. Wow. So much depth of flavor in that. Yes. Um. It's a little spicier than I remember it being. That's nice. Yeah, it's got it's got a good little bite, that habanero in there. Yeah. Um, it's got one of our favorite ingredients in there, the carrot. Um, carrot. Can't go wrong with carrot and hot Garlic. sauce. Uh, man, that's just got... I feel like I can taste all of those little ingredients. Some of like, that spice even, is definitely the togarashi. Okay. But like even like... I literally can taste a little bit of celery, which is like not normally... Uh, yeah. You know, a yeah. very dominant flavor and stuff, but right. I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, let's see here. And lucky you, I bought four bottles, so you get to keep that. Oh! <laughs> Hi, Roller Tyler. <laughs> well, I went on and I was just going to buy one. Yeah. I'm like, I know too many people that like Atmosphere <laughs> that I know are just going to want a bottle. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just buy four of them. Well, thanks, man. Because, you know, Hobbs been cool to us. So. Hell yeah. Cheers. Even better the second time. Yeah. What? I love the grapefruit part of it. 
That definitely uh, comes through. I feel like right off the bat, I get like the bell pepper and that apple like, and then the rest of the, <clears throat> the flavor kind of develops into that, that, that grapefruit and habanero and carrot. But That's a pretty well-rounded sauce too. I feel like you could use it on almost anything. Yeah. I feel like it almost reminds me a little bit of their, uh, well, what was this? Uh, fun funk of 40,000 years. Yeah. Um, there's some yeah. similarities there. Yeah, sure. with, with the fruit in there. But yeah, this is quite delicious. Um, what oh, yeah. are you what are you putting this on? Any kind of taco for sure. Yep. Um, I feel like that'd be a good breakfast sauce. I feel like that would go good with cream cheese. Throw that on a bagel. Oh, okay. I could see that. Um, that actually, yeah, that sounds pretty good. I don't know. I think that would be good on pretty much anything. All right, now the big question. I think we've been forgetting to do this on the last couple of reviews. Where are you putting this in a wing sauce? One out of ten heat rating. I'm going to go with five. Five? Yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. It's got it's like good right flavor. there in the middle. Like the spice, like the, heat. the spice is, it's not overpowering, but it has a, a slow linger. Yeah. It's still it's still tingling the tip of my tongue a little bit. Yeah, but I'm thinking a five for sure. I I would second that. But um, guys, thanks again to uh, David for making a killer sauce. Um, the like, atmosphere for making killer music. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Anybody Rhyme, else? Rhyme Sayers. All the Rhyme for Sayers. Partnering, yeah. partnering with Bob. Yeah. Even though I really. Wish Dim Atlas and Prof was still on the label, you know, whatever. And Murs, because I and, love Felt. Murs, yeah. Felt was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> but, Which yeah. Felt? There's so many of them, isn't there? There's three of them. Well, I mean, I think the, the Felt I'm referring to is just uh, Slug and Murs together. Yeah. And yeah. they did three. Three albums? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. All the albums are great. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, <clears throat> man, so good. Those are um, good. I'm going to have to revisit those. I kind of forgot about that. But yeah, rocking the Twin Cities, holding it down for Minneapolis. I'm even rocking my Basilica Block Party shirt from 2010. And I shit the bed and I have an atmosphere <laughs> shirt and forgot to bring it. So yeah. Oh man. But guys, thanks for checking this one out. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what sauces you want to see us review. And thanks for checking this one out. Until next time, keep up the heat.